the source is going to introduce you to Truly Carmichael, who is helping out the theatre community internationally, actually, from her home in St. Catharines. She has a new website called Backstage Bazaar, and last I checked, there were 126 different theatre people offering up their wares and their services through this website. Truly, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, so nice to meet you as well. And we really appreciate your shining a spotlight on us this way. Well, it's such an interesting concept. So tell me about your work in theater. I understand you're a milliner, which is a hat maker, also a costumer, but you're right. linked up with a partner in New York City who's involved in this as well. That's right, Erin Slattery Black, uh, whose uh, current uh, costume focus has been, she works at Henson, um, making some so of their when, wonderful- When you say Henson, you mean Jim, Jim Henson? Henson? Yes, wow. Jim Henson Company, work, uh, and uh, one of their team members there, and also teaches at NYU Tisch. So I'm, and, I, and has four kids, so she's a busy lady. And um, yeah, so she, she's actually the, the person who had the idea in the first place. But um, certainly, we met, she and I met in grad school back in the 90s. We have just sort of kept up with each other. We kind of, uh, the particular program that we went through sort of gives you one sort of brain and uh, what you end up with a degree in actually is figuring stuff out and getting stuff done. Right. So, so <laughs> you've been working in the theater industry. You've been a costumer. You're also running a side business called Truly Hats. I am. So how did you, the two of you come up with the idea, let's help other theater people who really don't have a lot of work right now via this website? That's right. Well, I mean, we really just wanted to focus on how to help people who know how to make something and know how to do something, but don't know necessarily uh, other than to have their own Etsy store or to maybe have a friend help them build a website, how they could get the word out that they are uh, is some of these remarkable and unique kinds of skills and really unique kinds of products, in addition to the stuff everybody needs right now, which is face masks and, you know, uh, gifts for holiday gift giving and that sort of thing. Um, but they didn't necessarily know how to promote themselves. And we thought, uh, we, Erin uh, was seeing a bunch of her friends on Facebook would post uh, something saying, oh, everybody put your stores here and then everybody can come there. But that lasts about five seconds until next week's news comes along. And it occurred to her, I believe, that um, a, a more permanent place which could really gather and could have um, people just promote the one place would have a pretty broad umbrella to try and, and uh, help out a bunch of these people, which, uh, you know, there but for great fortune would be Aaron, and there but for great fortune would be, I would be right, um, right there as well. Locally, but, we have the Shaw Theater here, of course, and, you know, when the pandemic started, they mobilized their staff because many of them were still getting paid through uh, an insurance policy that they had wisely taken out and they started making smocks i guess for healthcare workers yes. and then they moved into masks so yes. the skills of many people in the theater industry have really been useful during the pandemic as well oh it's it was awfully rewarding so uh, we made 1200 ppe gowns for niagara north a medical unit and it was quite the shift i must say because we really make unique one-off one kind yes. of couture pieces and now we're okay how do I cut out 1200 of the same thing and get them to everybody's homes and people are set up on their kitchen tables with their sewing machines and borrowing stuff and uh, you know the people who usually do the shopping and running the errands or running gowns and things back and forth it was remarkable so we were really fortunate that uh we were able to help and that we were able to stay employed by helping as well. On your website, there's actors, uh, there's costumers, there's all kinds of people, musicians, and they're yes. offering services, they're offering handmade items, arts, yes. um, music lessons, stuff for pets. It's an incredible variety. and You're not taking any cut of anything that they sell either. No, no, no. We really, um, this was entirely... Uh, a labor of love. It is not a money-making proposition. Honestly, Aaron and I have just been, uh, with a very few exceptions of a, a couple of close friends and family members who have kicked in, uh, you know, 25 bucks here and there, Aaron and I have just been funding it because it just matters deeply to us. 
and uh, you know, building a website and getting some help from people who actually know how to code PHP and everything <laughs> uh, has not been cheap, but it's certainly been worth it. I, we hear from the artists that they're really getting uh, a boost out of it. 